income usually on yearly basis. That is, everybody working in an economy in a country will be will be paying tax over the income, the salaries if such a person is collecting. Two, we have company tax. Company tax is levied on company's profits. Each company in an economy must be registered. Such companies that have been registered would every would be declaring their profits, their accounts for the year will be declared and their profit will be clearly stated. From the profits, a certain amount of money, a certain percentage of the profits must be remitted to government as tax and that is company tax. Also, we have capital tax. Capital tax are tax levied on properties and capital assets, big assets. Such assets in an economy, whether owned by an individual or with corporate bodies, a, tax, a certain patent percentage must be paid as tax on such properties on a yearly basis. These are the types of the direct tax. We also have indirect tax as well as another major uh, types of tax. This refers to the taxes levied on goods and services. The producers and sellers bear the initial burden of the tax, but later they will transfer the burden of the tax to the final consumer in form of higher prices of goods and services. The initial burden of the tax bear by the producer and sellers will be collected by the government from them, but the tax will be added as part of the cost of production of the goods and services they are rendering to the final consumer. Therefore, they are transferring the body of such tax to the final consumer. Then, indirect tax also has its own categories. One, we have tariffs. It can be imports or export duties. Import duties are taxes levies on goods imported into a country from another country by the importers. They have to pay certain amount of money as they are importing, bringing some goods from other countries to sell in or to, to use by themselves in uh, their own country. This helps the, uh, the government to generate revenue and also it helps the government to discourage importation of harmful goods from other countries. Also, it helps the government to protect the infant industries. Because some of these, indulge, uh, these products bringing in from other countries are being produced in own country, but the own countries may not have enough quality. In, not, in, in order for the own countries and those small countries, I mean small industries, to improve on their own, government can increase the import, I mean the import duties, that is the tax levy on the importation of goods. These are the importance of that import uh, duties. Then we have export duties as type of the tariff. Export duties are the taxes levied on goods exported out of the country to other countries by the exporters. That is, some countries also export goods to another country to sell. Such transaction and such a, a production or economic activities Exporters that are involved need to pay a certain level of tax to the government for exporting goods produced in that country to another country. Another type of indirect tax we have is what, what we call excise duties. Excise duties are tax levied on goods and services produced and provided within the particular country, not taken out, not bringing, I mean, not coming in from other country and not taken out to another country, but produced and used within that particular country. A certain amount of uh, money will be paid on such goods by the uh, producer or seller to the government. Also, we have what we call sales tax. Sales tax are tax levy on sales of certain goods and these tax are usually paid by the wholesalers and the retailers to the government. We also have what we call purchase tax. Purchase tax are tax levy on certain consumers, consumer goods such as cars, television sets, and some other consumer goods that are very common within the economy. And we have what we call value added tax. Value added tax are taxes imposed on goods and services at each stage of production, which later have been transferred to the final consumer. 
at each stage of production are where the, this tax will be imposed on so that the, the, there won't be double taxation over the production and the, 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 the tax is usually levied and being paid by the producer in most cases but the body usually being transferred to the final consumers. System of taxation. One, we have progressive tax. It's a form of tax in which the rate of tax increases as the income, stock of wealth to be taxed increases. People with higher income are usually taxed more than low income earners. An example of this uh, system of tax is what we call a ye, that is pay as you earn. The more you pay, the more you earn, the more you will pay. Two, we have proportional tax. It's a form of tax in which the rate of tax is the same for all level of income earners. That is, everybody in the society pay the same percentage of their income, irrespective of how much you are earning. If you are any tenera, a certain percentage of that tenera will be paid as tax. If you are any one million naira, a certain percentage of that one million naira will be paid as tax. In this case, the cert, there will be certain percentage like 5% being paid by all the citizens or all the workers in the society, in the economy. That is proportional tax. And the third one we have regressive tax. is a tax system where the rates decrease the rate of tax paid decrease as income increases that is the higher the income the lower the rate of tax being paid here the poor suffers a lot because they pay a higher proportion of their income than the rich set of people in the society also we have budgets when we say budgets a budget may be defined as a financial statement of the total estimate revenue and the proposed expenditure of a government, firm or individual within a given period of time, usually a year. It usually contains two accounts, revenue and expenditure. What are the types of budget that we have? One, we have balanced budget. There is a balanced budget if the estimated revenue is equal to the proposed expenditure of a given financial year. That is, no more, no one, uh, no less, no more. The, expect, the expected revenue is the same amount with the proposed expenditure. Two, we have surplus budget. Surplus budget is the case of estimated revenue greater than the proposed expenditure during a financial year. That is, the expected revenue, the expected income as calculated is more than the proposed expenditure, more than the expenses that governments want to spend over a particular period of year. And the third one, we have deficit budget. This is the case of estimated revenue less than the proposed expenditure during a given year. That is just the opposite of the surplus, surplus budget. These are the types of the budget that we have. Let's consider the following questions under this topic, public finance. One, the following are the examples of recurrent expenditure, except one, grants, A, grants, B, fees, C, lances, D, fines. Question two, which of the following is not part of the government's capital expenditure? Option A, road construction, B, building of bridges, C, payment of salary, D, building of schools. Number three, the full payment of payee is dash. A, pay according to your expenditure. B, pay as your expenses. C, pay as you earn. D, none of the above. Four. Types of direct tax includes the following except personal income tax, B, covenant tax, C, capital tax, D, import duties. Number five, 
when the estimated revenue is greater than the proposed expenditure is referred to as a budget deficit b budget surplus c balance budgets d budget accuracy now let's try to answer them one after the other the first question that says the following are the sample of recurrent revenue except a grant which is the uh, current i mean capital revenue grants loans and so on are part of the capital revenue therefore the answer to the first question is a number two that says which of the following is not part of the government capital expenditure is payment of salary which makes the option c to be the correct answer and the third question that says the full meaning of payee is pay as you earn also option c is the correct answer and the fourth question that says the types of direct tax include the following except import duties it's only the import duties which is option d that is not the type of direct uh, tax and the last question that say when the estimated revenue is greater than the proposed expenditure this is when we have the case of budget surplus and this makes option b to be the correct answer these are the five questions to be considered an economic system an economic system defines how the various entity in an economy interacts economic system can be evaluated in terms of how efficient they are they are in achieving economic objectives there are different uh, questions that are basic to economic uh, any economy whereby they, they, they interact with the others these questions are the basic questions that every economist deals